profitability is easy to measure, but uh, the benefits from sustainability are somewhat more difficult to quantify. How have you actually uh, dealt with this problem? If you know how to measure your end-to-end -end, uh, carbon footprint, for okay. instance, as a business, um, whether it's in the use of water, whether it's in the release of greenhouse gases, I mean, we have enough know-how uh, and, and engagement with ac the academic world to actually measure that. And as such, uh, our initiatives are publicly stated in our website. Uh, they're audited by external parties because we, we do have them in our annual reports. Yeah. And, uh, and you can see, you know, across all the different dimensions, which are more than 40, how we do measure those benefits along the lines of social, environmental, and business practices. The Consumer Good Forum is one organization where all the CEOs from our sector get together and they discuss uh, what is what the, the whole industry can do in the sustainability environment. We must collaborate not only with other private sector members but also with the public sector as well. And it's only by creating public and private partnerships, governments, civil society and other companies that we can create that movement that will start changing the way in which we do business and setting new standards so at the end we can change the world. How did you push your agenda with respect to sustainability initiatives in that? And whether you would say critical mass that Unilever has has helped you in doing that? Sustainability for Unilever is it's a way of doing business. Mm -hmm. It's not a project. It's not uh, what companies believe is corporate social responsibility. It's a new business model that we're handling. And as such, we believe we can double the size of our business um, while being more profitable as a company and reducing the carbon footprint once we increase the social impact that we have out there. Can we say that since the company takes green initiatives as a core, as a culture, it triggers a lot more concentration and focus on getting cost out in various different areas to, in a way, fulfill and ensure that the P&L still is healthy? Absolutely. We all believe that this is a mission that we have in corporate life and also as individuals. And as such, every, every person uh, works in small actions that can make a big difference. So whether it's in a factory, in, on a specific line where the operator is mindful about the kind of energy that is using, whether it's a, an R&D scientist that is redesigning our products, that it will use less packaging materials, whether it's our strategies that is redefining our manufacturing network. We all believe that one way or another, we can redesign the way in which we run our operations by providing cost benefits and at the same time reducing our carbon footprint. And that has become the way of doing business for us. How are you assure that once the products are on customer hands, they will use them and they will dispose in, uh, them in a way that is responsible? For example, with products uh, in aerosol presentations that are difficult to dispose, are you planning some kind of reverse logistics? It is absolutely important that we do uh, design products that are recyclable and not that can only be disposed to the environment. There is clearly a value in the residual component of the aerosol once it's used and the industry itself has developed well enough to allow recycled aluminum to be used in, in other sectors and even in our products as well, which I think is, is one of the elements of that circular economy that is slowly but surely being developed out there today. We do design our products to reduce the amount of material, to reuse it somehow, in a way that at the end, the holistic value of that equation remains sustainable. We're not 100% there yet because some of those equations are not economically feasible, but we are investing a lot in this sense because we do believe that there is value for us and there is value obviously for our planet if more companies do so. There are some initiatives and some efforts in reducing the energy use during the manufacturing process for the production of the products. Uh, could you mention some um, measures in order to become more efficient in terms of energy? 27% of the energy that we use in Unilever today in our industrial system comes from renewable sources, which is wind, solar, uh, water, and so on. And that is a trend that we have uh, started where we're aiming at least to reach 40% of the total of the energy that we use in Unilever 
that can come from renewable sources. We have embarked in a, in a program that is quite amazing because we are now having sensors and meters along every single of the lines that we have in many of our factories that are providing the visibility to our engineers of the amount of water and the amount of energy that we use. So they're much more aware and conscious that in many times of the year, when there is no production, you can minimize the use of energy or the disposal of water. That alone has generated a significant amount of reduction of use of energy. So thanks again. Thank you.